Hi, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a configurable product in Magento 2. Wrong click. Configurable product. Incorporate, uh, create an iPad config. Um, we need quantity, it will not be used, but you need to set it. Um, I'll select a category, give it some content. Then I'm going to create configurable products. Oh. I need to give it a price because uh, uh, this is a completely new Magento install. Um, you can see in other videos before this uh, this video uh, how I created uh, this complete uh, Magento. Um, I'm going to show you how to get this uh, uh, not required because it's very annoying. Um, go to the attribute price and you select here required now you say save. Normally I leave it on but for if you're gonna you, uh, install a lot of config products it's uh, it's annoying. So again Add a configurable product. iPads config. See, no star with the price, so not needed. Uh, it will require quantity, even without star. Don't know why. Let's create config product. Uh, filterable with color. I'll only do the. You, you can also create a new attribute if you like, but uh, I'm going to use color here. It's the most used um, attribute for this. And I'm going to create values. There are no actual um, uh, colors in here. Um, I need silver. I'm using uh, JPEGs because uh, PNGs sometimes give uh, those black areas around uh, around the images. Sorry for my bad English sometimes. You can also create these products up front and add them that way. It's just whatever you prefer. It's all done.
başkanş. likely because indexes um, have to be have to run okay there the product is um, it was as I expected it it's, uh, it was the problem was uh, indexing um, sometimes really weird with uh, with configurable products it needs to be indexed uh, the, the indexes need to be run from uh, Magento before you before you see it and here in my crons uh, from uh, uh, in my C panel, you can see that I have set the cron to every 15 minutes. I will ups, update that to every well uh, three, three minutes. The only annoying thing that you will have then in, in, in the shop, and I need to figure out how to get rid of this is uh, each time the indexes have run uh, it will also start asking about uh, refreshing the cache and I hate that I hate that yellow bar uh, in here but back to the t tutorial about uh, the config product you can see the config product now and the associated colors um, this is how it will work in an, uh, as a as a drop down, but um, most people like to have uh, swatches, so you really can see those small thumbs. I'll show you how to do that now. Um, you go to um, stores and then attributes product, and you go to the attribute color. And you can see that the attribute type is a drop down, and you need to update it to visual swatch. And here you have the colors, and now you can set a real color or an image. Uh, I like images, so I'm gonna take the pink iPad, and here I'm gonna take the gold iPad. And here I'm gonna take the silver iPad. Now I'm gonna save it. Now I really like to refresh the cache. And now You will see this changes. See, you see the small thumbs. Uh, much later in this series of uh, of Magento, of this Magento 2 series, uh, I will show you how to enlarge these uh, these images. I will do a complete redesign, and I will show you step by step how to do this. And um, so, keep watching my tutorials. Bye.